Hello horror fans and welcome once again to the Horror Obese. Today is day 24 um, of my 31 Horrors of October. And this is number 10. My top 10 list of favorite horror movies. Now, just got out of the shower. Anyways. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people would consider this a horror movie or more towards a thriller, but I really like this movie. I love the movie. I love the soundtrack to the movie. It was awesome and uh, it was sad. And the way it was sad, not in the movie, but in real life, it was tragic. And all that set into one film set um, is, you know, kind of breathtaking. It's it's hard to swallow. But enough of that. Let's talk about the movie. And this evening's movie is The Crow. Now, since I heard of that they were going to make uh, the movie The Crow um, based off of uh, The Crow um, graphic novel by... Um, Jeez, right at the top of my head, I can't remember the name of the, the artist. Um, oh, James O'Barr. Huh. <laughs> cheat, cheat. Anyways, it's based on his a graphic novel about the same name. Now, when I say tragic, well, we all know what happened to Brandon Lee on the set of this movie. Uh, he was tragically and accidentally killed. Um, and that was the sad part. But the movie is great. In awe. I mean, it was an incredible performance by Brandon Lee. Um, as we all know, he's son of Bruce Lee. Who I enjoy his movies also. Uh, so this is one of the movies that I also go back to and watch as many times as I can. Um, the soundtrack, well, soundtrack was awesome. Uh, with Nine Inch Nails, Stone Temple Pilots, um, see if I can remember anybody else. Because I had the album on cassette at the time when it came out. Uh, but as time progresses, I've lost or I've misplaced urges maybe was too drunk to remember where I left it. But either way, it's it's, an, it's a good movie and there's glare everywhere. That's so why I'm moving the phone here and there. But I really enjoyed this movie. I liked it. It was fun to watch, very enjoyable. The story was was really, really fun. Um, Brandon Lee, like I said, does an incredible uh, performance. You know, too bad he, he had to die. Um, and well, this movie spawned not only two, three, maybe. Yeah, because it was City of Angels. I'm gonna say like three sequels and a TV show. So that has to say a lot. But on that note, this is number 10 on my top 10 list. And it's The Crow. And well, hope you like what you see. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to hear more of my shenanigans, and some very horrible reviews and I will see you tomorrow well, good night